Hey guys, welcome back to a new series I'm going to be doing on Discord.py where we will create a general purpose game bot with a main focus on an RPG text-based style gameplay, right? So as part of this first episode, I want to be talking about and introducing our bot, the main project that we want to be working on, and what feature that we want our bot to have. But remember, this is also just a first draft that we will be making alterations to later on and that we will be adding more features to our bot as our bot grow so now let's get on with some of the features that we want our bot to have and some of the main systems that we want our bot to have so firstly since this is a rpg style bot that we want to users to be able to see their character screen right so like in different mmrpgs you can see your character level and stuff like that and i want to be able to implement this to the bot itself so the bot should be able to show a character screen on a command type and inside this character screen we want the bot to send out an embedded messages that will be formatted with the user's personal information and since this is also an RPG, we also need to be able to level up. So to level up, we need to have a level system, which might increase with the XP system. So for our XP system, we want to be able to earn XP. Maybe it's at a fixed rate or maybe it's at a randomized rate, right? We also want to be able to use this XP system to level up and to interact with different like stuff inside of our systems. Then we want to go over to the class based system right so we want to have a starter class which will be able to be upgraded i wanted to be able to be upgrade your starter class so like a warrior can become like a great warrior a knight or something like that and to do that we also need to implement the level system right so the level system builds off the xp system where if you reach a specific xp threshold you would then be able to level up and so like a way to earn the xp is that maybe you can fight random monsters so for this randomized monster encounters, you can think of this like Pokemon. So we might be able to earn like a fixed amount of for every monster we defeat or something like that, right? I also want some alternatives to fighting monsters. So maybe you can play like little mini games to earn XP. So some cool mini games I was thinking of implementing is like a soccer game, a basketball game, or like a word unscrambler, right? So let's get into the technical side of our bot. So for our bot, we are going to be storing user data. So inside of this user data, we want to store like some personal information, so like their character name, right? Or we might be want to also store their class. So the, a user might start out with a starter class that they can pick and this is where we will store it, right? We also want to store their XP value. So we want this to be located on a uh, Firebase database so that the user doesn't have access to this information. So they can't really change it. Only the bot can, right? We also want the user to be able to have like a level counter so that whenever they, the, a specific XP threshold has been reached, the level counter can then be increased. So they gain a level, while the XP value can then be um, set back to zero, right? Then we want, also want to introduce a inventory system. So inventory system will be where the player stores their items that they have collected over time. So maybe they defeated a mob and it drops some items. What we want the user to then be able to do is that to collect these items and store inside of an inventory. So we want to have a place to save those items and save their data and specific value. Okay, so now I want to go over how the series will work itself. So as part of the series, we're going to be having weekly uploads that will go over a new topic about our bot. Some week we might be coding, another week we might be going over how to organize our data inside of the Firebase storage. Most of these episodes will be 5 to 10 minutes long, mostly on the shorter side of things. And I will have a weekly um, GitHub link so you can see that week's progress for the bot itself. Okay, so that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time.